good morning and happy Sunday. I hope you're all well. So yesterday I didn't put a video out and I didn't in fact do my walk. So apologies for that. Um, I'm absolutely fine. A couple of you have sent me a message to see if I'm okay. I'm absolutely fine. We had a really busy work day yesterday. We had to dye a hundred skeins of yarn. So it was an early start and a bit of a later finish than we had hoped. By the time we'd driven over to the caravan, where we are now, done some grocery shopping, you know, unpacked the car, that sort of thing. It was, yeah, it was quite late. And then this happened. So I am committed, but I'm not mad. <laughs> and there was no way I was going out walking in that um yeah just not happening <laughs> and that storm continued literally all night but thankfully it stopped this morning so here we are another day and here is today's walk i hope you enjoy Good morning friends. I hope you're well. I hope you survived the trek across the field there. I um oh I think this is the first time all oh, my socks might have got wet. Yes, we had hoped to go across the field and beyond through into the woods and I knew the woods would be a bit muddy obviously. It's done nothing but rain for about 10 years. Um I thought we might be okay. I just oh, it just wasn't worth it. Nick and I have walked through those woods many, many, many times and they're beautiful, but we tend to walk them in the autumn and we're pretty certain it might be a bluebell wood, but of course we've never walked them at this time of year. So I was really hopeful that through April 
I might get to just see even if the bluebells weren't out yet I would know if they were gonna be um, but yeah couldn't get across but you know we're only on what day seven eight I'm not sure seven so there's hope isn't there there's hope for the rest of the month I was just talking to the farmer um oh good news the farmer had his dog and the dog was off his lead um she's a beautiful little dog and her and Jeff were playing beautifully it's nice isn't it Jeff actually was quite disinterested which is brilliant that's what you want isn't it you want your dogs to be disinterested in each other to some extent um yeah farmer was saying with lambing this year has been really difficult um throwing up much more health complications for both mama and baby because of the wet and the mud. They've had to lamb a lot inside this year where they wouldn't ordinarily. So yeah, it's having an impact, all this rain and mud. I mean, it's beautiful. We're in the middle of a storm. I don't know what storm, but when the wind goes, it's beautiful, but it is quite windy. Right then, friends. Let us link arms and stride forward. I'm walking back to the caravan now. But I think when I get there, I'm going to pause my pedometer thing for a quick wee and go for a lap of the camp, which is nearly three quarters of a mile. So that will make up for some of my missing walk yesterday, won't it? the field here. It's just so wet. I don't know if you can see because of the sun, but we have to time the stretch of our wall really well. Oh, this was quick, 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 Jeff. There's so much surface water on the road. Oh no, there's a car coming. Hang on, Jeff, back up. This is golf course to where those trees are. Yeah, yeah. Nick was just saying on the far side of the field there. The in the summer, the bank of that river is about 15 foot. When it's really low, the river, you can see the walls of the riverbed are about 15 foot, and the cows walk down it, don't they, to drink? <laughs> but yeah, all those trees there that are underwater.